So my gamer tag was actually given to me in the fifth grade by one of my school friends. We were at a LAN center because we didn't have a computer at the time, so I'd go there to play uh, Counter-Strike 1.6. And I was really hungry while I was playing, and you could change your name, I changed it to I Want a Mango. So the next day, at school, he's like, hey, Mango, what's up? And then for some reason, it stuck, and then everyone just called me Mango ever since. What inspired me? Well, it kind of just happened naturally because uh, when we were kids, because Melee Super Smash Bros. came out in 2001, so we played it, you know, for fun, you know, just as kids. And then we think we're really good, and then we find out that there's tournaments for the game, and we're like, we're like, oh, we gotta go to these tournaments. That was like my first true taste of competition. I like fell in love with it. I'm like, oh, I like want to get better and better, and then pretty much been hooked ever since. There was a, a Puff player called King, and he made this column video, and I saw it, and I was like, I want to play Jigglypuff. Like, that's who I started with, and I was like, like, I want to do exactly what he's doing. Like, that's really cool. My all-time favorite person to play is probably Armada. We really push ourselves to get better and better. So, like, when I play him, I'm like, oh, i got to be on my A game. Got to come up with some new stuff. So, he's, I probably enjoy playing him the most just because uh, we bring the best out of each other, I think. My tattoos are pretty simple. There's not, like, too many, too much meaning behind them. Like, this one, I love America, obviously. This one's for me and my friend. Like, this is where I grew up. Like, then I have my space and my um my Fox Falco, like, you know, my characters I play. And then they're all pretty simple, like nothing too complicated. I got my mom tattoo on them. I want to remember what I liked when I was this age. So it's like when I'm 40 or whatever, people are like, oh, aren't those going to be dumb? I'm like, no, because then I'll remember how I was when I was younger. <laughs> um, if I can join any team, it'd definitely be uh, CSGO. Just one round. I want to go one round, I come in, I get three kills, and then I'm done. And then I'm retired. That's it. But right now, I just bought Star Wars. I really like StarCraft. I play Counter-Strike. played League for a while. I mean, there's a lot of bad ones. I mean, they get pretty ugly, especially like after I lose. Well, any like top player from anything will probably tell you after you lose a tournament, like checking your Twitter is the worst thing in the world. Like for some reason, all the haters come out of the woodworks and you just scroll and you're like, man, that's mean, mean. And then you just have to ignore it and like you just got to scroll by them. Uh, my perfect pizza is probably, you know, just uh, mushrooms, onions, pineapple. And then if I'm in the mood, throw a meatball, throw some meatballs on there. Definitely Crash Bandicoot is like my favorite all time game character and if I could have him added that'd be great so that's that's my dream character when I played Armada at Genesis for the first time and I was losing the set like he just completely was outplaying me and like but then there was a moment where I pretty much read his soul like I just knew exactly what he was gonna do and then I punished him everyone goes nuts and I'm like oh my god and then like the momentum just come like momentum actually just came to me like I felt it and then it was like then after that I ended up winning so I would say that moment definitely like just even talking about it gives me the chills like that's probably my all-time favorite moment. It's a pretty hard game. Anyone who's ever played it will tell you that it's actually a very very difficult game. And if you want to get good at it, you kind of have to sell your soul like in terms of like putting in the time. Like you have to think melee when you wake up. And then when you're not thinking, you got to be playing. There's no online or anything, so it's just grinding like you have to go to your friend's house constantly. Like it actually becomes like a lifestyle when you get in melee. So my tip is just, you know, stay motivated. It takes time to get better. If you don't see results right away, it's okay. Like it takes a long time to get better. So just don't be discouraged. Just keep, keep trucking along. This happens at least once every tournament. And I'll be like, they're like, oh my God, Mango, hey, what's up? And I'm like, hey man, well, nice to meet you. And then they don't say anything back. So then we're just kind of standing there awkwardly and I'm like, like you gotta say something. Like you, you can't. Like I, what do what do you want me to say to you? And then that 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 kind of happens. That's kind of a strange thing that happens. At least once every tournament. Then I'll be like, nice to meet you. And then I have to walk away. <laughs> it's like, oh damn it. Losing is like my biggest motivation. It's like, well, you know when you lose and it's just, uh, and then you check your Twitter and it's, uh, and then you go home. My mom calls me and like makes fun of me. And then it's like, oh, it's just like everywhere I go, it's like I can't escape it. So like my motivation's like, don't. I don't want to feel that way. I don't want to go through all that again. So for me, it's just pretty much losing is my biggest motivation so that it doesn't happen again. I've only gone through like three controllers in my career, which is funny because a lot of Melee players go through like like two a year, like they just break them. I don't know, something I guess I have, I guess when I play, I'm very delicate with my controller and I like, you know, pack it up nicely. So I think like, this one's like two years old, but I used my other one for like seven years. Most of my career, I used my original one. And I've only gone through like three Fair meal, I'm actually just burger and fries, like straight up. And uh, beer, I'm actually pretty uh, pretty uh, not picky when it comes to beer. I, I like 40s, like I'll drink Bud Light. But I also like craft beer, like one of my favorite craft beers, Victory at Sea. But uh, I'm, I'm just trying to drink and, uh, you know, to get all messed up, so I'm not picky at all. One thing I will say is I actually cry a lot when I watch movies. Like I'm a big, movie, movie scenes that, they, that I'll, you know, I'll, I'll always cry. Like I don't think a lot of people know that. I'm a big, big baby when it comes to movies. 
I would ideally like to work esports something. Probably stream still, because uh, as long as there's Melee Live, I want to be part of the community. So I'll always be part of that. Last time I shaved it, uh, I don't even remember. It's been at least a year and a half to two years that I've been rocking this thing. You know, Jiffy Pop, people always ask me, like my oldest fans, because that's why I played when I was like 10 years ago. And they always ask me, when's Puff coming back? And uh, I hate breaking their heart and telling them no. Like, it's just let it go. But uh, she might come back when I play teams. And maybe for singles. Maybe, maybe. I'll leave you guys with that. I want you guys to just be maybe. There's like a 2% chance it'll happen in singles. Yeah. Can I shotgun a beer? Is that how it... You can take the mic off then. Take it off.